Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for uh, for joining. Today I want to answer the question, the age-old question. Should you buy a Dodge Viper to pick up women? Now you might be thinking, you know, obviously the answer is no. And you're right, that is the answer. But I'm going to tell you why. And this is just in my opinion. I mean, I'm not going to roll down the windows and start catcalling ladies. But what I will tell you is my experiences that I've had uh, with my wife, with uh, just driving around, just in general, seeing people who looks at the, the car, who looks at a Dodge Viper a certain way, and who couldn't care less. Kids love Dodge Vipers. Kids absolutely love Dodge Vipers. It's one of those things that looks so cartoonish to them that they absolutely cannot comprehend it, and they just point and scream and get excited. Um, and then their mom looks and says, "Oh yeah, really nice. That's so cool." Or their dad says. Oh my god, I haven't seen one of those in forever. Those are awesome. Uh, that's pretty much the consensus. That's what you're going to get. Women couldn't care less. They see a car that's uncomfortable, that's hot, that's just not really... They see a car that's just painted red with some weird looking stripes on it, in my case. But if you're, if you're thinking you can buy a Viper to pick up chicks, unless the women that you're picking up look like 35, 40 year old men, uh, there's a good chance you're not going to be too successful. Before you think that I'm talking smack about the Viper, I'm absolutely not. I'm just being realistic. I mean, I see the way that, you know, women, they don't really appreciate a loud 10-cylinder that has the same ride of a go-kart that is warm on the inside. You sit really low. It's uncomfortable to get in and out of. I mean, I, I think the typical car that a woman would like would be something comfortable, great air conditioning, easy to drive, nice and smooth. Everything that the Viper is not. We all know that the air conditioning in the Viper is not the greatest. Um, if you still have catalytic converters in your uh, in your exhaust system, then chances are you can feel a good amount of heat just coming out of those uh, out of your sills. So it basically turns your Viper into an oven. Also the the Viper's manual transmission. So, you know, being a driver, it's fun, it's engaging. You can you can foresee those shifts coming so you can prep for them and, and it's you don't really notice the jerky motion but as a passenger there's a good chance that you're just gonna feel those shifts a little bit more especially if you're driving a little more aggressively it's just not the most comfortable ride. it's not nearly as smooth as as an automatic uh, transmission would be even if you are the greatest driver and you're super smooth with your clutch um, it's still gonna be a little more noticeable than, than an automatic transmission and let's be honest that's not why you're driving a Viper to begin with. You're not driving it to be smooth. So, you know, the harsh ride combined with the, the jerky motion of the standard transmission, it's just not the most comfortable ride. So, but I think the vast majority, and I'll use my wife as an example, you know, she, uh, she likes the Viper because I like the Viper. Is it something that she's going to drive uh, to go get groceries or drive even on a Sunday cruise to go have fun with? Absolutely not. It's just not a car that she would appreciate the same way that I do. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think, your experiences. Maybe I got it all wrong. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. 